For years, the Democrats told us we're not coming for your guns. Oh, yes, they are. Let's be clear. The Second Amendment is as clear as possible, and that's their beef. The Second Amendment says the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. But they don't care. In fact, the sponsor of this legislation said so in committee. He said, quote, spare me the BS about constitutional rights. They don't care about that fundamental liberty law-abiding citizens in this country enjoy. And they're coming for your firearms. Six weeks ago, it was the red flag law. You know, where someone who doesn't like you can report you to law enforcement or to a judge. There's a hearing that you can't be at. Your counsel can't be present. You haven't been charged with the crime, but they can take your firearm. They can take your property. They can take away your Second Amendment liberties. And then you have to petition for a subsequent hearing to get that right back. And you have done nothing wrong and have not been charged with the crime. Then House Democrats passed the unconstitutional legislation that said 18 to 20-year-olds can't purchase a firearm. They can fight for our country, but they can't purchase a firearm. And today, today they're coming for your guns. 24 million of them. That's right, 24 million AR-style rifles are in the hands of law-abiding Americans today as we speak, and those individuals will not be able to sell or transfer that property. In the Heller case, the Supreme Court made clear that the Second Amendment protects firearms in common use at the time. During the markup, during the markup, Representative Bishop asked the chairman, quote, if, if it is, is it the point of the bill to ban weapons that are in common use in the United States today? And the chairman said, the problem is that they are in common use. Yes, that's, so this is the goal, and this is why it's unconstitutional. It couldn't be any clearer. Democrats don't care what the Constitution says. Fortunately, courts are correctly applying the Constitution. Last week, a federal district court judge in Colorado, who was appointed by President Obama, issued a temporary restraining order against the town of Superior, Colorado, to prevent it from implementing an assault weapon ban. The judge wrote, plaintiffs have stated that semi-automatic weapons, as well as magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, are commonly used by law-abiding citizens for lawful purposes, and therefore cannot be banned. And guess what this bill will do? It won't make, it won't make communities safer, it won't make them safer at all. In fact, in the Heller case, the Supreme Court said, Second Amendment protects firearms in common use at the time, and also said this, quote, for lawful purposes like self-defense. Three weeks ago, three weeks ago, July 7, 2022, a Florida homeowner used his AR-style rifle when individuals forcibly entered his home. After the homeowner opened fire, the individuals immediately fled. When asked if the homeowner would face charges, the Escambia County Sheriff Chip Simmons said, quote, absolutely not. The homeowner is protecting himself, and in Florida, you can do that. You can protect yourself. Democrats tried this ban before. It didn't work. It won't work now. And it, you know what it will do? It'll make communities, I think, less safe. What will make communities safer, though, is if Democrats stop defunding the police, stop cashless bail, start prosecuting criminals. They're taking away firearms used for self-defense by law-abiding Americans. This bill is wrong. It will make communities, I think, less safe and it's unconstitutional.